Hi, this is Madi Mahovald and Manos Brilakis, and this is case 185 for the manual of CTO interventions. This is actually the follow-up of case 169, in which a patient underwent PCI of a right coronary artery CTO in order to treat a saphenous vein graft aneurysm. Briefly, the patient had coronary bypass 25 years prior. He presented with a large saphenous vein graft aneurysm in the SVG to the right coronary artery, and he did undergo successful PCI of the right coronary artery CTO. It was a fairly large aneurysm. The procedure was achieved with retrograde crossing. This is the CTA showing the size of the aneurysm. And it was eventually successful, although it was a very challenging procedure and was complicated by perforation of the mid-right coronary artery that was treated with placement of um, covered stents. Eventually, the RCA was successfully recanalized and an unplugged vascular plug was placed in the proximal portion of the SVG, occluding the undergrade flow. However, there was still some retrograde flow into the SVG at the time, which we did not treat. The patient returned and uh, what was found is that the right coronary artery was patent six months after the initial procedure and the SVG was occluded. However, there was still significant retrograde flow into the SVG aneurysm. So we need to occlude the aneurysm, otherwise the risk of rupture remains. So we inserted guide wires into the right coronary artery and the PDA into the right posterior lateral. And then we performed IVOS to determine the relationship between the PTA and the SVG. And actually, the origin of the PTA was very close to the um, entry into the saphenous vein graft. So originally, our plan was to actually place the cover stand across the origin of the SVG, but the problem was, if we did that, there was a good chance of losing the PDA. As a result, we contacted interventional radiology, who were extremely helpful, and the decision was made to proceed with coil placement. We inserted a prograde microcatheter, and then we started placing penumbra coils. We did uh, place uh, several coils. We're trying to limit them into the portion of the saphenous vein graft that was closer to the distal anastomosis, but it was difficult to do so. There continued to be significant retrograde flow into the saphenous vein graft. And finally, we placed uh, several coils with, um, um, unfortunately, the last one, there was some protrusion of a tip of the coil into the lumen, which we pushed back by using the prograde microcatheter. And this is how it looks like after 14 coils. So it took quite a large number of coils. We have much decreased flow into the SVG aneurysm and much better flow undergrade into the right coronary artery. We wanted to make sure that uh, there was no coils protruding into the main vessel and we did an intravascular ultrasound. And indeed, uh, there was uh, no uh, protrusion of the coils um, into the um, native uh, right coronary artery. The important message from this case is that when a patient presents with a saphenous vein graft aneurysm and we recanalize uh, the native coronary artery, then we have to occlude both ends of the bypass graft to achieve sealing of the SVG aneurysm. In our case, we had only occluded the proximal anastomosis of the SVG. However, there was still retrograde flow from the native coronary artery, and as a result, the aneurysm did not seal and was still at risk of rupture. An easy way to achieve occlusion would have been to place a cover stand across the origin, the distal anastomosis of the SVG. However, we could not do that because we did have the takeoff of the PDA that was actually very close to the uh, distal anastomosis of the SVG. Instead, what was done is place several coils into the SVG that successfully uh, decreased the flow significantly to the SVG and most likely will occlude uh, over the next few days. The other lesson is that when performing coiling, it can be extremely useful to ask for the assistance of interventional radiology 
Interventional radiologists are very experienced in coiling and their help was invaluable in choosing the types and the number of coils we placed into this SVG aneurysm to achieve successful occlusion. Thank you.